so not quite 4 a.m. but we tried. We're heading out. We have not even fixed here. I'll get you chocolate bar. Let's go get in the car. Are we ready? Yeah. Yay! Yay! We tried for four, but sissy. Are we all ready? Yeah! We got our breakfast on the road. Actually, I mean, we're eating granola bars. It's fine. And, and we're fine. We're gonna stop for like Chick-fil-A or McDonald's as soon as they open. Yeah, Max has goldfish because he doesn't like chocolate bars. Okay, here we go. Tennessee line so we're gonna stop for some breakfast it is 659 and I'm not gonna lie the first two hours of traveling have <laughs> not really been no. super fun because it was like kind of dark and the kids were just trying to figure out what to do and they were certainly not going back to sleep so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna run in and get some breakfast there's sissy She's catching up on her phone. But anyways, we're gonna run in and get some breakfast and then we're gonna hit the road again. at Chick-fil-A and we told the kids to run out some of their energy so <laughs> it's like seven something in the morning they have been honestly full of energy We just stopped at our second stop. It is, what time is it? 10.42, I think we're almost in Kentucky. Okay. Y'all hanging in there? My um, sister just took Landon and he had to go potty really bad, but I'm waiting for the gas to fill up and then we're all gonna do restroom breaks and um, snack up and then we're gonna hit the road again. But we're actually making really good time for it being yeah 10 43 and you know we're going all the way to like northern indiana so okay bud let's go on and let me see if the gas is done pumping everybody say hi hi hi, hi. sissy say hi hi y'all like your apples i, I got the biggest piece. is it yeah. delicious Bo? I'm having a good time, don't you blame me Yeah, this feeling I've got is making me crazy Making me crazy So, I'm just gonna drive, drive, drive dinner you probably can't even hear me because it's yeah. so loud in here Don't you blame me? Yeah, this feeling I've 
exhausted honestly like I think if I had to like honestly sum up today it would be like I would not advise you to travel for hours and hours and hours with six small children but we made the most of it and we made it here and I'm always so happy to spend time with my family we love spending time with them up here their house is gorgeous my cousin and her husband just moved to a brand new house well brand new to them house it's like a little um big farmhouse on like several acres and my kids love it they have animals here obviously as y'all saw so we're having so much fun we're staying for the next what is it five days so I'm so excited about it but um I'm just glad we made it up here because it was so exhausting and we're kind of dreading the trip home but um we learned a few things on the way up here like which kids shouldn't sit by other kids and stuff like that so um the kids were so tired tonight but it's like they were hyped up so much to where they didn't even fall asleep until almost 11 o'clock so now we're wondering what tomorrow is going to be like since we woke them up at 4 30 this morning and then they just now fell asleep a little while ago so tonight is i mean it's like 11 something right now but we like all ate dinner and it took us forever to get the kids in bed because we were trying to set up what room they need to be in and um and then we just talked in the living room for a while which is like some of my favorite things to do with family just talk so we're not exactly sure what we're doing tomorrow like we don't have set plans or anything but we're just gonna all be together and it's gonna be so fun and just excuse this appearance because i just wiped all my makeup off and i look crazy but i'll see y'all tomorrow next morning Hello. How'd y'all sleep? Good. They didn't go to bed till after 11. It's because everybody else was in bed. You say me to you. Yeah, I need it. Don't you need me to? Because I got you. And you got me too. Shining from within. 
Breakfast time. These donuts are called Amish Crack and they are delicious. I'm going to have some. You're going to have some? Sissy, are you going to have a donut? Yeah? Okay, good, baby. Wait, your turn and get a plate. Goodness. Goodness. Say hi, everybody. Mr. Bose and Sissy are sleepy. Keep my eyes closed? Is it a surprise? Okay. But I kind of have to walk. Whoa. Kate, don't chase him towards the road. You're the first thing in the morning and the last. Baby, you're my future and you are my past. Pretty little thing. You're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Hey, Bo, where are we going? To the splash pad. Are you excited? Can I have to yeah. stack all the way? Is it cold? I think you'll get used to it. I know. The more you run, the more you'll warm up. They're getting a little tired but as y'all obviously just saw we went to the splash pad here and um the playground and like ran off a little bit of the energy is gorgeous yes it's well it says 86 but it is not 86 what is it's it not that hot. i don't know but anyways we're gonna go back home and uh, home being carrie and joe's house and eat some lunch and then put the babies or some kids down for naps and then um we have some more cousins coming over we had night time, but now we still have nap time. We have some more cousins coming over to play this afternoon, so it should be fun. Uh, they drool right after our hat. Mom and oh. dad's drool, right? Mom and dad's drool. Yeah. Girl, yeah. girl and boys drool. No. Yeah. Girl, boy. Kids drool. No. No, yeah. girls drool. You have yeah. to have boys Kids drool, grown-ups drool. <laughs> Dinner time. We had smoked chicken. Did you like the chicken? What you eating now? A turkey. Mm. Did you have a cookie? Yes. <laughs> I can tell. I could have a big giant
little behind. It's like the next morning, Sunday morning, 9.30. We're all going into church. Y'all ready for church? Yeah! Sissy, Sissy, say hi. Bye. Okay, we gotta go. I have a thing for darkness, but you can see with your mind. Even when I have my doubts, you see. Lunch time. Hi. 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 Is it yummy? Hey guys, so it's actually been a little while since I've been on here. Last you saw was yesterday afternoon, and it's been like almost a full 24 hours. Um, after Wendy's, I got like really sick and you know, TMI. I won't go into all the detail, but. I had like I got like a really bad infection and I had to go to urgent care here in Indiana and it honestly was a wonderful experience they were so nice there I got my medicine right away and thank goodness it's kicked in and has worked but I was in no position to be doing any kind of filming yesterday my sister and Carrie really helped um, take over and like watch the kids and stuff are, are they still bringing it out that whole time was spent just kidding <laughs> Just kidding with these. That, that, and they know we're still here? Yeah, I guess um, um, we, we're at McDonald's right now getting some snacks before we head to like a like a zoo type place. It's like maybe smaller than a zoo. I'm not really sure. We don't know. We're just along for the ride. But we have been pulled up in the McDonald's drive through for like ever and they still haven't brought us our food but anyways all that to say that's the reason why i didn't film a ton yesterday because i just honestly was not feeling good it was not good but i'm much better today and um these kids really need to get out of the house because they were in a good bit yesterday and it was supposed to rain most of the day today but it looks like it's kind of clearing out a little bit so once we actually get our food if they ever bring it out to us we're gonna head on over to what's it called I have no idea. I don't remember what it's called, but maybe like a smaller type zoo. But anyways, that's what we're doing.
baby I'll do it all, do it all for you I'll be enough, be enough We had so stinking much fun at Dutch Creek Animal Farm. Did y'all like the animal farm? Yes, yeah. my favorite part was like the goats and then that bird, what is it called? The parrot who co copies it you? It copies you, yeah. yes. It was so cool, it made lots of noise. Yeah, and now we're gonna go to Isaiah's baseball game for a little bit. Bo decided to dump an entire bottle of water on his whole outfit. And also, I did the girls' nails earlier. Girls, show them your nails. Oh yeah, they're really pretty. Oh, Look how pretty those are. They were like these stick-on yeah. things that I got from yeah, Walmart. Yes, so Elena has them too. Come on, Abel. Okay, here goes nothing. That's done with the nails. <laughs> I'm about to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out actually the next day I don't think I filmed more than like two seconds of the trip home yesterday because you know if I'm being a hundred percent honest it was just overwhelming we were so exhausted like before we even started the trip so back it up to the day before we left and um, we had like a good bit of family come over my aunt and uncle came over and I don't even know if I fully explained like we went to stay with my cousin Carrie who is like one of my best friends growing up and it's my mom's sister's daughter and her husband and her five kids who are precious they just moved out to like a big farm with tons of land it's beautiful as y'all saw but um we kind of grew up together spending the summers together and even though they live in indiana and at some points they've lived in michigan but we still have just always made the trip to see each other every summer and now it's so exciting because we're continuing that 
with our children and our kids love each other it was kind of sweet because like they loved each other hard but they also like fought like brothers and sisters it was it was actually really cute to watch but anyways we had so much fun with them but as y'all know i mean with all the grown-ups there which are only a few and the kids which were 11 kids 10 and under it was exhausting <laughs> and it was worth it in every way but so exhausting so um we didn't get a ton of sleep and the night before we were set to leave i mean i already told you how i was in the ur in urgent care for a little bit with an infection um that's under control a little bit now but the night before we were supposed to leave max woke up in the night throwing up and y'all throw up is like the worst i just i can't really even put into words how i feel about throw up but it's just the worst and especially when you know you're about to be in the car for about 14 hours the next day with six small children and two grown-ups and i was like please tell me that this is a one-time thing thank the lord and i'm being so serious that it was he only threw up once but it, he was restless all night and i slept next to him because i didn't know how it was gonna go and um, i got almost no sleep the night before i drove all those hours and i was like oh my god so we got up nonetheless we were supposed to get on the road by eight we didn't leave until about nine o'clock um two hours down the road my cousin called me and she was like um you left your purse here i left my purse in indiana and to turn around and go back would have been insane so i didn't Thank goodness she overnighted it to me and I'm going to pay her back obviously, but $40 later, I do have my purse. They, they got it to me by three o'clock today, which was so nice. But anyways, I didn't have any cards to pay with. I didn't have my license to drive all those miles. Um, I didn't have my antibiotic that I needed for my infection that I had. All of that was in my purse. So I was like, are you kidding me? So anyways my sister paid for all my stuff on the way back i paid her back already but that was just another thing we did and then like halfway maybe three quarters of the way home we started smelling a smell and we were asking all the kids like did somebody do something like what is going on and nobody fessed up and then all of a sudden sissy which is my my sister's daughter her name's vivian but literally we only call her sissy she <laughs> she held up her passy and she was like poop and she held up her passy and it literally had poop all over her passy we're driving down the road when this happens and i was like oh my word we pulled over as fast as we could i wish i could show y'all picture and video but it's just like it's so intense she literally completely pooped herself all over all over the car seat we don't have a backup car seat it was so bad it took us an entire pack of wipes to clean her and the car seat we had to change her clothes so that was just another setback we didn't get home i don't remember the exact time but it was almost midnight um that we got home and the kids had finally fallen asleep when we got home and so we had to transfer them put them all in bed and everything anyways needless to say really yesterday <laughs> was so exhausting i couldn't even close out this video i was like i am done like i need to go to bed i missed my bed i wanted to talk to mark for a little bit i hadn't seen him in a week so now that i've gotten a shower that's why my hair looks honestly insane right now i feel refreshed my sister went home today is actually her 10-year anniversary she went home to be with her husband and they're gonna have the weekend off with their kids this weekend because my parents are watching them so i'm excited for them but anyways was it worth it to go on this trip yes it's always worth it to spend time with family but was it so exhausting that we wanted to give up at some points absolutely and i mean i wouldn't completely advise traveling with six small children but we somehow made it work i don't know how but it happened so anyways i hope you all enjoyed the video and getting like a little glimpse into my life and my extended family life and um I just love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.